how manifesting in your life works every single moment of your life and it doesn't stop. So even if you feel like, um, you know, you're only manifesting when you're meditating or you're only manifesting when you are um, in deep thought or when you're journaling, that is absolutely wrong, you guys. We are actually manifesting even when we are mad, we're manifesting. When we are stressed the fuck out, we are manifesting. If we are feeling depressed and lonely and sad and low vibration, we are manifesting during those moments. So pretty much 24 hours out of the day, seven days of the week, month, year, the entire existence that we currently have, we have been manifesting. So what does that mean for you? Well, what that means is that you have to learn how to be conscious of the thoughts that we think while we are in our lives. See, the thing about it is that a lot of us have lived very like very much like zombies right like the concept of us um just kind of going about about our lives with really no understanding of how powerful we are when it comes to creating the life we want and then attracting that those circumstances in our lives you know i just turned 37 last wednesday i believe or no, it was last Friday, sorry. Last Friday, I just turned 37 years old. And I thought about every single thing that's happened to me in my life, every single job opportunity, every single um, setback, every single um, financial setback, career setback, um, every single time I've gotten you know, fired, I've actually been fired from a job before, um, every time I've been hired at a job, um, every single moment, you know, even relationships, every relationship I've had, all the relationships that worked and didn't work, all the relationships I've been able to mend and not mend, all these things that have happened up until my, until now, I've reflected on that. And maybe that should be the title of this life the reflections of a 37 year old woman right but the idea here is that every moment in my life i can see that i chose that right like even in my career i have there was a time where i was like i want to just have a job because <laughs> i didn't have a job i didn't work at all i was in high school got that job it was a random busing job at a um, where was I doing it at? At a uh, Dutch restaurant. I was a busser, right? And I think I was making like $6.90 an hour. And at the time I didn't make any money. So that was a lot for me. I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this money, right? But the, the, the energy is that I just didn't have a job. So I wanted a job, got the job. Then I was like, well, I want a better job. Got another job that paid more. And I was like, I want a professional job. I don't want like to work at a food place, you know? So I, I worked at a professional place, started working, learning about fucking professionalism, dressing nice. I knew I learned all the technology things cause you had to be on computers all day. Um, so professional, like I, every single job I have attracted to myself to get me to where I'm at today. Now I'm a business coach for clients. Every single thing I teach my clients and do for my clients and help them with and help them walk through things in their business, I know how to do and I have done and I do really well at. Not only that am I just a strategy coach, I can help you with all sorts of stuff. I can help you write a book. I know that because I wrote my own book. I can help you form your entity. I've done multiple entities and that's I used to have a job forming entities. I know about contracts. I used to do procurement, which is fucking contracts. You have to redline contracts. I know contracts, like so many things. On top of that, I worked for a business coaching company, right? So it's like all of these things came to me and it lined itself up in a way that I didn't see the bigger vision, right? Cause I, I didn't see, I didn't futurally go to my future and say, well, the reason why I'm getting this job at 22 forming entities is because when I'm 37, I'm going to run a successful business coaching company. 
I never knew any of that. I just took each step, went with it, learned everything I could, moved to a next job if I wanted to. And that's what I mean by we are manifesting all day long. We are constantly manifesting in our lives and we are constantly growing as we are manifesting and we are learning the skill sets required to have that successful life in business. One of the things today is I was talking to a client of mine who has a goal that in five years she wants to have a million dollar business. And I asked her, what do you think you need to be and who do you need to become to attract that million dollar business? Because you can think that you can just operate like a hundred thousand dollar business the way you have, right? Which I think she makes about a hundred thousand a year. And you, you actually have to up level your way of thinking, the way you problem solve, the way you handle stresses in your life, the way you handle problems that arise in your business, the way you handle your personal relationships. You get to up level all of those things if you want to run a higher level business. So I always like to say, who do you get to be in order for you to achieve that goal, right? So you have to be a fucking good ass problem solver. You can't get stressed out at a whim. You can't cry and you can, I, I, I love to just have people, I encourage my clients, including myself, to encourage and embrace your emotions. So part of that is if you wanna cry, fucking go in a room, give yourself like a couple hours and cry. Maybe if you can, do a day, because a day of crying definitely helps and heals the soul. I think crying is a form of release. So if you don't allow yourself to cry, that's actually a problem, and you need to allow yourself to feel all the feelings, all of it, the good, the bad, the yucky, the amazing, the wins, the downfalls, the devastation, you need to feel all of it in order for you to release it. So anyway, what I'm saying is, is that in our lives, we are constantly manifesting all day long. We are either attracting to ourselves the clients that we want, or we are repelling those clients that we want. I had worked with a spiritual person in the past and her energy was completely heavy. It was heavy, it was blame, it was victim, it was why is it not working by, it, it was um, low energy, low vibration. But in the same breath, she was selling spirituality. She was selling, you know, psychic reading. She was selling things that um, were more from the light um, vibration. You know, how do you heal your life? How do you heal your heart? Those were the things she was selling, but the way she exuded her energy, how she showed up every day wasn't good. It also wasn't beneficial and it also didn't align with what her services were. So now, and, and you know, I think since last summer, I was, I've been able to work with another spiritual um, type of coach and her energy is completely opposite from the one I was just sharing about. And her energy is very much more the feminine energy, that energetic vibration that you want to align with, that kind of coach that feels right and actually offers up the services that you want. And it aligns with how she comes off and her, her energy and the way she exudes and vibrates and exists, right? It aligns with her service so what I'm saying and why I'm bringing this up is because when we are not aligned energetically with the thing we are giving as a service is going to portray it it's going to people are gonna read that people are gonna experience that people are gonna experience whether you are confident in the thing you do People are going to know whether you are the right person to work with because of the energy you exude. Again, this is connected to how we manifest because everything is connected, right? We are constantly manifesting all day long. So some things I want you guys to think about 
for this specific live and this is for manifesting in your life manifesting in your business manifesting in your relationships um is am i showing up this is the, this is the question for you to ask yourself am i showing up as the person that i'm telling the world that i am that is a question i'm going to repeat it am i showing up as the person that I'm telling the world that I am, okay? And the reason why I want you to start thinking about that is because I think we move in our day incongruent. We are not congruent with the thing we are telling people that we are, okay? So it's one thing when it's like you call yourself a life coach or a spiritual coach, but you don't do any kind of spiritual practices, right? That would mean you don't, you don't practice what you teach, right? Another thing is like, for example, for me, if I am here saying, you know, hey, I am a business coach and I don't do any kind of business things. I don't have any idea on how to run right contracts. I don't have any idea on how to do business operations i don't know how to do handle clients i don't know how to do marketing and i don't know how to do sales that would mean you guys i'm not a business coach i don't have the skill set for it and i don't live it out in my life right so think about it think about what it is that you do and what it is that you tell the world that you do and is it aligned with your day-to-day -day actions is it aligned also with your day-to-day -day thoughts? Okay, so part of that also is um, if you are running a business online and you don't fully believe in your business, you're going to think thoughts that are not congruent to having a successful business. Okay, so you can put out a launch, you can do all these things, but if you don't fully believe that your business can help people if you don't 1000 percent believe in that and you have one ounce of like mm, i don't know because i don't have enough clients or i haven't had any clients or whatever i don't know whatever reason you've decided that that is true for you it's going to also block the easiness and flow of life to you and business I had a client that I shared on my email as her story. She um, recently got a really amazing luxury car and uh, we've been working together for two years, her and I. So I cried when she shared that with me because I know where she came from and I know what work she has done to get to where she's at. I, and I, I've been there with her through the thick of it, through the hardships, through the winds. So when she finally pulled the trigger and made that thing happen, she got her car. I bawled. Like I sent her a voice message of me just being so proud of my client, being able to surpass a financial income, finance her ceiling, breaking through ceilings, and being able to manifest the life she has after two years of working together. So anyway, she has come this far and I believe the reason why things have flown so easily into her life is because she has finally figured out that manifesting doesn't really require a lot of work. It just requires a lot of belief. So it doesn't really require leg work. Yes, I think you have to take aligned action. You have to take action that gets you closer to the goal yes but if you take the action but you don't believe the action is null and void it doesn't matter the universe will not adhere to it because you don't believe right that's why i say belief is everything if you don't fully believe there's no point in doing that if you don't fully believe in the thing you're trying to sell, there's no point in selling it. I want that to land for everyone here. If you do not believe the thing you're selling, 
there is absolutely no point in putting on a launch, in putting on content, in putting on an email sequence, in putting on fucking carousel posts and lives and stories that sell. All the things. If you do not believe in it, because you're wasting your time, you have to work on the belief part that you and your services are meant to help and support your community 1000%. Because every day we are manifesting every day, but we're only manifesting the thing we fully believe more in. So if you believe 60% that you're, you're not, your services don't work or you're, serv- you're not really a credible coach or you're not something, right? 60%, but then there's a 40% that does believe it. The thing that outweighs more is a 60%. That is what's going to propel you into your result. Now, if it's the other way around, which is 60% you fully believe in your services and who you are and what you do, and then 40% there's that doubt. The 60% is gonna outweigh and pull you towards your results. So check in, how much do you believe in yourself? How much? Do you believe 1000% or do you believe only a little bit? Okay, so that is my live for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can DM me. Or if you want to book your 2023 business strategy session, click the link in the bio and I will see you guys again maybe this week. I'm not sure, but definitely next week.